And medical doctors in Lagos have declared a three-day warning strike over the state government's failure to meet their demands. The doctors under the auspices of Medical Guild are embarking on strike over wage disparity between the federal and Lagos state doctors. COVID-19 hazard allowance and inducement allowances, MOU, approved by the federal government. Other concerns are non-payment of doctors working in isolation centers, as well as unceremonious disengagement of doctors in isolation centers without recourse to their welfare. The chairman of the Medical Guild in Lagos, Dr. Olua Jimmy Shodipo, disclosed this in a statement released on Sunday. Shodipo stated that uh, they will begin uh, 8 a.m. on Monday and end on Thursday, 16th um, of July 2020. According to the Guild, a three-day warning strike is a total strike that involves all cadres of doctors, irrespective of grade levels, and no emergency services permitted. He said the doctors are embarking on the strike after the ultimatum given to the Lagos State Government had expired. According to him, the grace period was given to the government to meet 70% of the doctor's demands in order to avert the strike. And we are now joined by Dr. Olua Jimmy Shodipo, Chairman, Medical Guild of Lagos. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much for joining us. Quickly remind us what was the basis for calling of the initial strike? Well, um, we had not started the strike initially. Uh, what happened was we had um, a Congress that gave a three-week ultimatum, which expired in June, on the 26th of June. And um, this activated um, a two-week extension following the series of discussions we had with the government. Um, unfortunately, within that two weeks, which expired on um, the 13th of July, um, we couldn't achieve much more, and um, that was what activated um, the three-day strike. Since then, um, we've had meetings with the government, and um, we are hoping to take back some of the resolutions that have come out of those meetings to our members so that as soon as possible we can um, get back to what we know how to do best, which is um, saving lives. Okay, and, and you know, we are also aware that a period of grace was given uh, um, to allow government to fulfill at least 70% of the demands. How far had the government gotten uh, before these decisions were taken? Um, well, what was decided was that um, the members would assess the feedback from the executives and see um, whether the 70% mark or majority of what um, we felt were important had been achieved. Unfortunately, that had not been achieved. I can't give a certain percentage because um, um, you know, it's dependent on the interpretation by the members. However, what was most important was that we needed constant engagement, uh, we needed constant negotiations, and then subsequently implementation. Of course, some of them, um, it was admitted that we might not be able to achieve them at once, but what was most important that everybody wanted to achieve is that that constant process of engagement and negotiation continued. Um, well, we, I need to um, appreciate that some of the issues have started being solved. I also need to state that um, in addition to meeting to, with some of the high-ranking officials of government, the commissioners, we were also able to meet with Her Excellency, the First Lady, and uh, Mr. Governor, um, yes, late yesterday, so as just to find a way forward. I hope to, put, um, to resolve some of the challenges so that is where we are, and we hope that um, uh, shortly or as soon as possible, once the members can take a decision, we'll get back to what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, uh, quickly, um, let's also just talk about this. Um, uh, two things I'm going to you know, throw at you now. If you can do this in 30 seconds, we'll appreciate it. Well, first one is, aside the financial challenges, what would you describe as the current working condition of, of uh, doctors in Lagos? Um, and also, is strike the really most effective means of achieving the results in this trying time? Remember, we are facing a pandemic. Um, so so t talk quickly about it. Well, I think I'll start from the second question, which is, um, is strike the most effective? Definitely nobody wants to go on a strike, and that's why um, the initial ultimatum was extended. What, and as I said, what we really wanted was negotiations and attempts at implementation. Of course, we also need to remember that in some other states, there are even strikes that have been going on that are indefinite. Part of what the members looked at was that because of COVID, could they just do a three-day warning 
Of course, even one day is important. And then can we now, as, as events roll on, decide based on the information that we get and based on the level of implementation? So nothing was cast in stone. So truly, it was something that could have been avoided. And I think at the meeting we had with the government yesterday, uh, it was admitted that, yes, probably if some earlier negotiations are taking place, probably we would not be where we are in terms of the strike. Yeah, because by the time we're having that meeting, that decision had been taken. So yeah. um, truly, it's something that we have sought to avoid as much as possible. And of course, on the working conditions, we've been trying to collaborate with the government, especially in terms of having personal protective equipment, especially in terms of trying to prioritize health worker testing for COVID so that we can quickly upscale the kind of services that we're providing in the hospitals. We know the fear of everybody at being, okay, what's going on in the hospitals? Are the health workers even safe to go about their activities? Yeah. You know, there were all sorts of rumors. So we wanted to kill all that by saying, let's get um, uh, an agreement on the kind of personal protective equipment. Let's get an agreement on health worker testing, patient testing. And we're still working at it. And I mean, we're not trying to be rigid. Our aim is let's just get the best objectives for both the welfare of healthcare workers, not just doctors, but also for patients. And of course, ultimately, government too is responsible for patients. So we just hope that we can get a win-win situation and we're back to what we are doing as soon as we can. So it's something we're working on, even as I speak. Okay, we would follow up and, of course, um, have another conversation uh, with you as uh, time passes. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Shalipo. We will speak yes. with you again. Thank you for having me.